For military personnel and veterans who have served overseas, the events unfolding right now in Afghanistan could be bringing up a wide variety of emotions. And joining us this morning with more on the mental health effects is Dr. Aaron Jacoby with the Maryland VA. Good morning and thanks so much for joining us. Good morning. Thanks for giving me the opportunity to speak to this. Absolutely. What have you been hearing this week from veterans? Well, as you might imagine, these are very challenging times for our nation's veterans, especially our veterans that served during the global war on ter 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 terrorism in Afghanistan and Iraq. Um, I had an opportunity to meet with a number of our returning veterans this past week, and people are expressing an array of emotions, anger, disbelief, frustration, and sadness, because the, the scenes that we're seeing in social media as well as on the news are really bringing back a lot of very challenging memories for some of our veterans who've served overseas, especially if they've lost um, comrades in arms um, while trying to um, defend uh, freedom across the, the, the world. Well, absolutely, and we're talking about veterans who spent years over there helping to build the schools that you know, you're know you hearing and, and um, you know, people are talking about that these children may never be able to attend now. Uh, they've made alliances over there. They've built relationships. So are they dealing with feelings of, of guilt, sadness, sadness, helplessness, all of those? Yes, especially for our veterans who have struggled with PTSD, post-traumatic stress disorder, um, what they're seeing on the news is triggering them. It's bringing back very negative memories um, of hard fought battles um, on the battlefield and also some of the wonderful good things that we get to do on a daily basis when we're serving in a combat zone. Um, what I've heard from veterans is that they're trying to support one another. Um, they're talking with each other through social media. They're calling each other on the phones. But more importantly, they're reaching out to us. They're coming into the medical center and they're talking to our professionals. Um, you know, we have a number of folks that are trained in evidence-based practice. We've got wonderful talk therapies as well as medication that can help people um, with symptoms that are brought up. But I, one of the things that I wanted to mention is, you know, we're coming upon the 20th anniversary of September 11th. This is a really tough time for veterans already as, as they continue to think about the sacrifices that they made overseas. And so the timing of this withdrawal um, as well as the challenges and the hope that everybody is having to get everyone out of the uh, in Afghanistan safely and soundly. Um, it's it's especially palpable right now. And we've seen interviews with veterans who've talked about, you know, they, they've lost their, like you mentioned, their comrades over there. They may have been injured over there. They may have lost a limb over there. And they're wondering now what this all was for. How do you deal with that? Well, it's, it's a common concern that we've spoken to many veterans and, you know, we've also had these conversations with veterans of other eras. So our veterans um, who served in Vietnam, part of what we do in, in our talk therapies is we discuss all of the important contributions that each and every veteran, as well as supporting civilian has made in those countries to make um, the world a better and safer place. And we certainly um, uh, want to validate the emotions that they're experiencing um, as well as talk about their anxieties, worrying about, you know, what might happen in the future, but to really underscore the importance of the sacrifices that they made, that um, and the things that they've done overseas are incredibly worthwhile, they're incredibly valuable, and we're very proud of their, um, their service to our country as well as the world. Doctor, what should friends and family members be on the lookout for when it comes to a veteran in their life? It's an excellent question. So. The, the news is triggering veterans. And so what, what I've noticed is that um, our veterans are isolating more. Um, they have a tendency to withdraw from people. Um, they're talking about having increased um, dreams, um, nightmares, as well as just times during the day when they're thinking um, kind of lost in their thoughts. And so family members should be very attuned to watching for some of those signs and symptoms. And if they're present, it's important to ask the veteran you know, what, 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 what do you need right now? What would help you through this? Sometimes that's actually just having some space and some quiet time, but other times it's actually embracing and talking about some of these memories. Uh, and we're here to help. We don't want any of our nation's veterans to struggle on their own. We want them to come into the VA and receive some of the expert services that we have available for them. And to that end, how can people reach you? How can they get in contact? So 
veterans who are wanting to enroll, they can go onto our website. Um, that's www.maryland.va.gov. That's G-O-V. Um, they can also walk into any one of our three medical centers, Baltimore, Lock Raven, or Perry Point, Monday through Friday. Um, and uh, we have a triage clinic that is specific to mental health that operates from 7.30 a.m. Um, to 3.30 p.m. Monday through Friday. If they're um, in need on the weekends, we have an emergency department in our Baltimore facility that is open 24 hours a day, um, you know, Monday through Sunday. And uh, we have uh, mental health personnel here to, to help folks. And of course, uh, veterans can also use the Veterans Crisis Line, which is 1-800-273-8255. And uh, that again is also 24 hours a day and they can call. Family members can use that number as well um, to talk with mental health professionals and um, get some tips on how to interact um, and help um, veterans, especially if they're struggling. All right, really crucial information. Dr. Jacoby, thank you so much for joining us this morning. Definitely appreciate it. Thanks and very much. Have a great day. You're so welcome.